always you need to remember that treating people nicely or kindly is something very good. Absolutely. Regardless of their religion. But when you treat someone is rude. Let's say he insults you. Like the Bible says to us, if somebody, you know, hit you in your right cheek, give him that. Okay, that's 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 very amazing teaching from, from the Lord, right? But you need to remember that Muslims are different kind of people. And why I say that? The Muslims, they've been taught in the Quran that the reason the Christians are nice and kind because Allah curse us. Not because you are nice. So what that will do? When a Muslim, he insults you, and he bully you, he will think that his book is telling the truth. Allah, he curse you. By making you accept humility. Do you understand? You will say, oh, okay. Allah, he cursed them. He made them him, like, you know, live in humility. And now when we insult them, because Allah cursed them, they don't answer. Do you see it? So Muslims, you have to treat them differently because they understand your kindness as a weakness, as a curse from his God. Are you following with me? This is a chapter 3, verse 112. So according to the Quran, Allah make you feel down. So when the Muslims, they speak to me, they say to me, how come you are not like the other Christians? Is that what Christ taught you? So you, when you are nice, they make fun of you. They bully you. When you are not, they ask you to become nice. When you follow Christ and be kind, they make fun of you and they make fun of your Jesus and they make fun of your Bible and they humiliate you. The second you are a Christian prince, they ask you why you are not a Christian. <laughs> Is that what God taught you in your Bible? Suddenly, they want you to be Christian again. Because this is not the Christian they like. They like the Christian who they can spit at his face and the Christian will not return the insult. So, you can practice that sentence with everybody, but not with people believe in evil and lies. That you are nice because Allah made you accept insult. Because Allah curse you. So when you deal with Muslims, you have to deal with them. You know, I saw a video right, just before I go live. Uh, Muslims and uh, like supporter of uh, so-called Palestine and Jews. And they are shouting. I said to myself, if I'm there, I'm not going to shout. I will have a sign insulting Muhammad and you will see they will go home. Why are you wasting your time? Nothing will hurt their feeling and make them really, you know, look bad, except saying something really, really true. Like what about printing a sign, says Muhammad, Aisha, she said, the prophet, he f me when I was six years old. What about making a cartoon of Muhammad, a picture of Muhammad saying, I'm going to kill every Jew. Oh, what they do, two people in the side of the street, free Palestine, free Palestine, and the Jews on the other side are supporters of, of Israel. Uh, you are a fascist, you are Nazi, why you do that? Don't waste your voice. Hit the head of the snake. The head of the snake is Muhammad. Nothing hurt as long you are not insulting Muhammad. If you are not insulting Muhammad, who cares about Hamas? Hit the head of the snake. You want to go in the protest? Take a sign of the filthy Muhammad. It shows there's tons of things Muhammad he said. Tens of things. Prophet, he said, drink camel urine. 
The Prophet, his face and his shit smell so good. The Muslim used to collect his shit and eat it. Make a sign. Hamas, either the Hamas, they follow this. And Muhammad saying that you will have endless penis. Don't you think a sign, a big sign, it says that the Prophet Muhammad, he said to Hamas, if you do jihad, you get endless penis. Don't you think this is the this will be the biggest humility for those who support Hamas and support Muhammad? Otherwise, shouting in the other side of the street, uh, you are fascist, you know, you killed babies. The other one says, we Palestine from the river of the sea, you know, uh, don't waste your time. Hit the head of the snake. This is all doesn't hurt. You want to hurt? Do it right.